Okay, so this is a little space I have here just behind the wall. It doesn't get much sun, but for some reason the tomatoes like it well. So I've spread some of that compost out here. I'm just going to mix it in, show you how I do that. After I've tilled it all up, peeled it up, I kind of want that uh, compost in the top layer of the soil so when I water, the nutrients keep going down to the roots. So I just kind of shovel it, mix it in like this. Just kind of get the top layer mixed up with the compost in it. Just do that the whole way. And then you're ready to plant your tomatoes, peppers, whatever you want. But in this area, I like to plant tomatoes because they really seem to grow well here. So we'll show you putting in some tomatoes here in a bit. Here we got in this little spot, a few holes dug to plant some tomatoes. Uh, you can buy the tomato plant starts about this size down here in California. If you're planting them anywhere from March to April, they grow really fast and will catch up to the more expensive, bigger potted plants. So you can get four plants for $1.78. You go to Lowe's, Home Depot, and that will do well. They have all different kinds. These are the sweet 100 tomatoes. They're the little ones that make a lot of tomatoes. Here's my daughter, Callie. Hey, Callie, how's it going? See, so the secret, since we added all that organic material, uh, steer manure, and my own compost to this soil, uh, one of the other things to do, you can add some bone meal. This is miracle Grow Organic Choice Bone Meal. Doesn't necessarily have to be organic choice, but uh, you can just put about a tablespoon in the bottom of each hole, and uh, it helps to uh, give the nutrients that the tomatoes need uh, during growing because if you don't have enough calcium in your soil you can get uh, tomato end rot which is if you've ever seen on your tomatoes the little black spot on the bottom of the tomato that's called tomato end rot meaning you are lacking nutrients in your soil oh let's stay out of there Callie it says keep out of reach of children so <laughs> uh, so once we got that added to the bottom of our holes we can go ahead and we'll pop one of these tomatoes out of this package. Just to pop it out like that. So you'll see that all the roots are surrounding there so it's ready to grow fast and strong. Now the best thing you can do to increase the speed and health of the plant, bust off those bottom few leaves. And then what you do is, you plant the plant deeper than it actually uh, is. So you cover up cover up a bunch of the bottom stem so that what happens is now that plant is going to make roots come out of the stem and it's going to be a much stronger plant. We'll just do that again with this other next guy here. So we just dump them down the hole, pop those leaves off the bottom and then we cover it up. Cover it up Callie. Cover up the plant, cover up a good portion of the stem. You can even, if you have a longer taller plant, you can cover even up to two thirds of this stem and leave just the very top of the greenery sticking out. If the next day you come out and your plants are just falling over on the ground, maybe a cutworm came by and cut the tomato off. That tomato is going to die. So next time when you plant, you may need to put a styrofoam or plastic cup around so the cutworms can't come through the soil and get your tomatoes. Also watch out for small kids, they tend to pull them out. Right Callie? Okay. Okay, that's it for planting tomatoes. Um, if you haven't added all that organic nutrients to your soil and your tomatoes aren't doing too well, you can get these uh, Joby's Fertilizer Tomato Spikes. They work well. Uh, you just put one beside the plant as instructed and they help growing uh, your tomatoes bigger, stronger. Uh, but this is not, of course, an organic way of uh, growing your tomatoes, so it's up to you. If you don't mind not having uh, organic tomatoes, then go ahead and you can put these spikes in help your tomatoes grow faster. Uh, until next time, good luck planting your tomatoes. Right, Kelly? Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, bye. bye bye. See you later. <laughs> so, this is the west side of my yard. It's where I like to plant my tomatoes. Uh, each year, I come up with a little bit of a different setup. Uh, this year, uh, tomatoes like good drainage. So, what I do is, if you don't want to spend the time building boxes, you just kind of hill the soil up and then you can plant your tomatoes right in the soil there. Uh, in the front here I have some potatoes planted. In
And in the back, I planted just some um, small plants uh, from the store of tomatoes. Now, uh, when you plant